around me, fuselage, fragments, as far as the eye can see, because three months on from the fatal downing of Malaysian Airlines flight MH17, we still have fields filled with reminders of what happened here. Um, some 60 kilometers outside the city of Donetsk and by the sands of Shakturusk and Torres, but these fields will forever be known for what took place three months ago. We've got charred patches here, we've got life vests, and we've even got personal possessions, things like bottles of water here, littering these fields in this otherwise idyllic countryside, reminding what happened when flight MH17 from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur came down with the loss of 298 lives, no survivors, 283 passengers, 15 crew and that loss of life, making it the worst airline shoot down of all time, the worst airline disaster in Ukraine's history. Now we had an investigation here on site, we had Dutch investigators and they published a preliminary report on September the 9th. The full report won't be out until next year, but there's no sign of anyone here in the scene today. Three months on, it's deserted. All we have everywhere are pieces of the plane, even something here from the in-flight entertainment system. Some scenes here. That's my first time here at this site and I've been having a look round today at the site of the crash of Malaysian Airlines MH17. sizable piece of the hull of a Boeing 777 here and we've got thousands of fragments stretching fields stretching over kilometers we've just come from a field up here into this basin and we have fragments here from as I say this fairly large piece of the fuselage to of the hull rather to uh, a seat here to simply simply bits of debris and also here this cage which held animals as we've got thousands, in fact hundreds of thousands of fragments just covering these fields. Now when the flight went down immediately speculation and rumour swirled and we still have three months on a situation of every day almost new things are coming forward. There's been allegations that some of the passengers had their masks on before the plane hit the ground. There's been a mysterious donor apparently stepped forward with an offer of 30 million dollars for whoever can say conclusively who did it as we still do have here an active and an ongoing situation. So I'm by one of the wings here of this Boeing 777. Now this wing was originally in the lake and then it was taken out and it's been placed here. Now this is the second Boeing 777 that Malaysian Airlines have lost this year after flight MH370, the disappearance of that on March the 8th. On this one, most of the passengers were from the Netherlands, around two thirds. There were also many from Malaysia, over 40, many from Australia, almost 30, 10 from the United Kingdom, in fact, 10 nationalities represented. And here we're in another field and we still have more fragments, fuselage, and in fact, even a large piece of the hull over there. Now, when it happened, of course, it was summer, the grass was long, and these sunflowers were in full bloom. Now it's autumn, it's late autumn, the fields are brown, but the 
fragments and the remains of flight MH17 are very much still here. So you were here originally. I mean, where were you? Uh, where were you sleeping? And uh, you know, when you were out here at the scene, is there any town? Or what were you doing? For no. Bodies as we could get, but it wasn't very easy because they were 